Shoulder pain will drive more than four and a half million people to a doctor's office this year. Some will be diagnosed with a painful and debilitating rotator cuff tear. Dr. Cayley, good to see you again. David Cayley was one of them. I couldn't raise my arm, this, this arm up higher than this or out like that. It was very difficult. It was very painful. A lot of things I do in my job, I require a lot of arm motion and holding my arms very still in a, um, out in front of me, which was very difficult. Some patients might avoid surgery due to the expense. Come out here like this for me. Push up against me there. But a new study by the American Perfect. Academy of Perfect. Orthopedic Surgeons will help patients weigh the cost of the, the surgery versus non-surgical treatments. Fantastic. You can't even tell which side you had the surgery on. We found that rotator cuff repair results in indirect cost savings that more than offset the direct cost of treatments, resulting in a net savings to society. Go ahead and reach behind your back, see how far up you can reach. This savings is upwards of $15,000 for the average patient and $70,000 for ages 30 side. to 40. Great. I'm gonna take a look in your ear. Regaining his mobility and getting back to work was important to David, who is also a surgeon. If I didn't have surgery, it would have been devastating. It could have been career ending. I couldn't have continued much longer with the amount of pain and lack of mobility that I was having, and that was with the fresh injury. Had it, had it scarred and I got less mobility, it would have impaired me even more, and that could be permanent. Prior research on rotator cuff repair has shown that it's a cost-effective operation, but this economic model allows us to actually quantitate the cost savings to society of getting people back to work and helping them live independently. The full report is available in the current issue of the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery. This is Jack Trammell.